Welcome to Aviatife, the free career add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this video, we will cover what happens if everything goes wrong and other question about flights. My name is Open Darkwing, and let's get started. So we've been flying jobs and it happens. You're coming in, you've been flying your job for an hour and a half and suddenly Microsoft Flight Simulator freezes and crashes to the desktop. All of that time, the deadline, what do you do? Thankfully, we have you covered. Resuming flight. As a disclaimer, this feature is still experimental. So we are simulating this. We are flying currently not that high up off the ground at the moment. We are about a thousand feet up off the ground flying this job. We are going to simulate a game crash by Alt F fouring out of the game. So now that we have completely crashed and closed the game, the first thing we need to do is make sure that the Aviatype client is closed. The reason we need to make sure that the client is closed is that it doesn't know that your game has crashed. So we need to be able to refresh that. We restart the game, and then once we restart the game, we restart the client. Once the game has been reopened and you've reopened the client and connected the client to the game you scroll all the way down and you click on resume flight that will bring you to this page here you can see that we have old data for this flight so if we change anything then you will not be able to continue from the last location what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and resume my last flight because we found old data this is an option this is still very experimental. Remember, we need to restart the Avitaf client, reopen the, and make sure the game is reopened. And because we were only a thousand feet off, we are gonna go ahead and add an additional thousand feet just to be on the safe side so that we don't crash. The engines will start, the throttle will be set to 90% and the autopilot will be turned off. To activate this, all we need to do is restart the flight just like we started at the very beginning at KIWH, we'll go ahead, make sure that we've got our diamond aircraft. We fly, it will connect down, and just like everything else, all these things will come up. They will show everything passed except for our engine stopped because we just started off on the runway. Once we are here, we'll go ahead and shut the engines down. And we see now that the engines is cold, and everything is good and we click start tracking ensuring that resume our last flight is turned on and i'm going to go ahead and add the additional thousand feet just to be on the safe side you click start tracking it will update the um, simulator you will be back in the air you will be flying once again and everything is back to where it was before the crash you picked up a job, it has a lot of weight to it, and you are not going to have the fuel to make it to your destination in one jump. What do you do? There are two ways of doing this. You can either pick the job and select it just like you normally would, or you can create and plan a flight to do a relay system. So let's go ahead and get this started. This method will work whether you are just wanting to relocate your plane to a new area or you need to create a custom fuel stop. Once you've loaded cargo into an aircraft in the system, it is in your aircraft and not at the airport of origin. So do this. We'll go ahead and plan a flight. We'll pick which aircraft we want to use. And then we pick our destination. Here, just to run off, we are going to go ahead and choose Fox Station. It's a small little thing. It's not a seaplane base or anything. We'll go ahead. It's close. We'll choose that. And then we load our, pass we load our, our cargo like we normally would. And it's loaded up. So now we would fly this just the same as it would. Now, as we remember, this was an express delivery that is going to Williams County eventually. That's where it needs to go eventually. 
But we, at this moment, are heading for Fox Station. We'd make sure that we have bought our insurance and our additional insurance package. And we will fly to Fox Station to do a refuel while we're there or just relocating the plane itself. That is the cargo. It still tells you where it's going and where it needs to end up, regardless of where your aircraft is at that time. As long as the payload is aboard your aircraft, it will show you where the payload needs to go. You can then refuel at Fox Station or anywhere else, top up your fuel, and then continue flying to your destination. This custom flight will also work if you are needing to move your airplane back to its rental position, or you have an FBO rented or a hangar or something rented at a home airport, and there are no jobs currently going there, but you'd like to return there to get in a, another aircraft that you maybe own or rented to fly a different mission. You can set up those plan of flights to that airport and complete your mission there. I hope this helps in this. And if you have more questions regarding planning flights or any other topics that we have covered so far, please feel free to join the Discord and ask in there and someone will be more than willing to help you. Until next time, thank you guys very much and we will see you all later.